Hey Taurus, how are you doing? This reading is for Taurus for the week of August the 5th to the 11th. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind this is a general read. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the link or the description box below. Click the link. It will take you to the website and you can see the options there. What is going on for the fabulous and most amazing Tauruses? What do you need to know? What do you need to see for your highest good? Present time, the Three of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you are focused, or what's coming towards you is the Seven of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. What you are focused on is the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your blocked and challenged position is the Eight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And your outcome is the Ten of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, Taurus, let's clarify this and find out what is going on. At the bottom of the deck, you have the five of wands and the fives in the tarot signifies change. Something has to change. Something has to give. And in order for there to be change, you have to be the change. In your focus, you have that two of pentacles. It's like weighing up your options or something is up in the air. It could be a little bit confusing or emotions are running really high. When emotions are running really high, intellect is very low, and it's very hard to make a logic decision. So write down your pros and cons to some kind of situation. You could also be seeing through some kind of an illusion or a fantasy. Or somebody could have mixed feelings, mixed emotions. So this could also be you, Taurus. All work and no play makes Johnny a doll boy. So needing to play, needing to have fun. So pros and cons, like you make your life look easy to the naked eye. Like you're flexible, you can handle things. But this is like your emotions over here, your emotions over there, your emotions over there. It's everywhere, but within your body. So that's why you don't feel very solid in this two pentacles. Because this could be like multitasking, going in there, going everywhere. And it's easy to drop the ball when you have so many irons in the fire or when your agenda is extremely full. You don't even have some time to do something spontaneously or to let loose to have fun because this is good news worth celebrating. Friends, family, loved ones, playing, getting together with your gal pals, getting together with your buds and you're like, can I make time for this? And that's a need for you to place healthy boundaries. Let's see what this um, three of wands is. And yeah, drama fighting arguments in too many cooks in the kitchen, too many opposed opinions. Um, five of wands could also be a drama filled situation. Like you're like, um, last time I seen this person, they were a bunch of drama, right? <laughs> so, or maybe you feel confused. You don't know where you stand with this person. Let's see what this three of cups is. And the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Queen of Pentacles is like kind, caring, compassionate, loyalty, generosity, very fruitful and abundant, but placing healthy boundaries. And I feel like you're kind of looking at this as well, Taurus. Who are my friends and who are foes to me? So here it's like, what is a fantasy or an illusion and what is real? There can also be some kind of procrastination. So needing to pick something, choose something, again, just go back to the pros and cons. If there's more pros, keep proceeding forward. If there's more cons, scrap it, let it go. But something about like fertility, very abundant this speaks of like taking good care of your health, wealth, and happiness. So if you're going out, letting loose, having a good time, you're being more mindful of your health, more health conscious, drinking water, you know, eating your fruits and vegetables. And, you know, Queen of Pentacles is like beauty, um, very protective, very hardworking. That can also be some kind of loyal friend or family member that you are, you know, seeing like this is this is working let's see what um the seven of cups is 
there could also be somebody who's fantasizing, dreaming of something with you or is in an illusion, right? Or when emotions are extremely high, everything feels good, right? But needing the logic mind as well. So stay grounded. And the five of swords. Wow. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. This is about taking some kind of innovative risk and not procrastinating on it. Or a need for you to pick and choose your battles wisely. Not everyone is worth your time of day or even a fight. Um, somebody could also be very emotionally manipulative here. So this person either is trying to bait or hook you into some kind of an illusion or fantasy because it suits them. This is also cut your losses and you might not want to do that or somebody is like, it's like betrayal or games being played. Um, there's game playing here or something. And so this person doesn't care um, of how they win. They just want to win. So it's like not considering another person's feelings. This person could also be very emotionally explosive. If this is you here, Taurus, chill out, time out. Because your emotions could get the best of you and you could say something quite cutting or hurtful and or a need for you to see through the illusion cut your losses stop procrastinating and take some kind of innovative risk here hair font and this could be like an abuse of power somebody who is very controlling a controlled environment work and career this is also learned lessons or needing to step into your leadership row role Let's see what this two pentacles is. Yeah, it's like um, walking a tightrope with another individual. So anytime you express yourself, this person lashes out emotionally. Um, it's almost like an imbalance of emotions. So needing to regulate your emotions or there is somebody who's emotionally imbalanced and this person gets um, super reactive or wants to control a situation like it has to go this way and if it doesn't go my way I will emotionally manipulate the situation to make it go my way that's what that feels like and the six of swords wow go forth with your plans even if it doesn't suit another person it suits you because you could definitely have somebody who emotionally reacts reacts towards this and this is about travel, travel plans, or needing for you. It's like weighing up your options. Where do I want to travel? Where do I want to explore? This is also um, any kind of fight or game playing here. Trickery or somebody trying to bait or hook you into some kind of fantasy. If you're confused of where you stand with a person, um, then this person is not being transparent with you. So again, see through the illusion. Don't try to force your way into somebody's um, life because it will backfire on you because it's wanting to win at all costs and not considering another person's feelings and or this is what somebody's doing to you. So here it's like, let something go. If you have a lot of irons in the fire because um, something is like one-sided or too heavy of a burden. So not everything can come in your boat here, Taurus. So this is travel, exploring, and exploring your options. But lose the battle and you getting out of choppy waters into more smoother sailings. Like there's a light at the end of the tunnel for you. In your blocked and challenged position is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles could be like a need for you to work on yourself and maybe you have been lying to yourself and procrastinating on some kind of work collaboration or project. Um, there could also be something about your work where people like manipulate you and be like, oh, come on, Taurus, just stay a couple more hours. And you're like, um, 
getting extra hours at work, but it's taking you away of some kind of fun. Yeah. And Eight of Pentacles is like something isn't working here. Or somebody's not being a team player. Yeah, something isn't growing. Something isn't working. And the moon. Wow. A hidden work project. But the moon card is um, Pisces Cancer. Two of swords. Stuck between a rock and a hard place. One is the truth and one's an illusion. And so again, it's like forcing something to happen. Or there is somebody who is like fantasizing, dreaming, and either manipulates or bullies you with emotions. Or has mixed feelings. Like this, you don't know where you stand again with this person. And again, this is a very triggering card to me and it's because you're ignoring the truth of a situation or this could be like a two-faced friend a two-faced boss a two-faced situation and here the moon card is like something has been hidden in the dark in the dark or a need for you to let go of something or a need for you to embrace this Something that you're working on in private. Because the moon card, it can be like anxiety, worry, deceptive behavior, ill health, mental health. Something isn't working here. It's taking a toll on your health and your physical body. Or what's been hidden in the dark at work from you. So again, this game playing or trickery or one-sided situation. Um... That's what you need to do. Do I need to invest in this or should I let it go? And this could also be you having multiple irons in the fire. And here it's like needing to let go of something that's comfortable and you're fighting it and procrastinating on it. Because the moon card is about, you know, a comfort zone. And needing to walk the journey of the unknown. So unfamiliar territories. Everything you want, dream of, and desire is in the unknown. But you still have to go forth. And you're like almost gaslighting yourself of like, oh no, I can't do that. Or there's an energy of like fantasy dreaming. And then taking some kind of innovative risk. But this can also be fantasizing, dreaming of like, how can I control this person? Or how can I control this situation? You can't. But what you can control is your own attitude, behavior, and your thoughts towards yourself. This could also be like fantasizing, dreaming of something you want. And then this five of swords is like, yeah, but I'm not good enough. Yeah, but I have low self-esteem. Or there's something here in a work collaboration. There's something being hidden or not talking about it. Ten of Wands, baggage, unload some kind of burden or heavy responsibility or a heavy work situation. And the Three of Pentacles, yeah, totally. And the Three of Pentacles is about a needing for you to network. So here... If you hear Taurus or the Queen of Pentacles, it's like you want to let loose, you want to have fun, and it's like a need for you to establish better boundaries. Or maybe you have your wall up so high that you're guarded and very defensive of anybody coming into your environment. And again, that could be like the control factor like I need to control the person so that they don't hurt me um but here it's like needing to delegate or off duty some kind of task networking so asking for help and support um in some kind of work situation but it's like you're not trusting another person and again it's like cut your losses 
And if you cut your losses, your emotions are going to like rev up and or need for you not to, to procrastinate here. Like you need to say something, express something. This is about like heavy one-sided connection, heavy sided one-sided commitment. Or you're carrying all the burden of some kind of situation and in some kind of work collaboration. This is about co-creating with others and co-creating with spirit. You need to unload or ask for help and support. So asking your friend to run an errand or asking your coworker to help you out and a need for you to trust that they are going to get it done in their way. Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowering way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So just watch your own triggers because if your emotions run extremely high, you might say something um, that could be, you know, a little bit defensiveness. And this is about like, your guard being weighed way up or this is a need for you to take rest when your body says take rest and take action when you need to take action and don't procrastinate on it nine of wands is also i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of dealing with this person i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of dealing with my boss i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of being the only one collaborating in this situation and for you um this is like deep feelings deep emotions or there's something not working here or something hidden in a work situation that needs to come to light. But who's going to communicate? Five of Swords is not the best way of communication. It's coming from a place of fear and worry and emotions like super duper revved up. So um, a need for you to just take a step back. You could also be dealing with somebody who is very blocked off and defensive. Like, again, a needing to let go of some kind of collaboration or networking. This could also be some kind of heavy investment. But you're going to need people to be, to work with here. Surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can blo you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. So, uh, moon card, moon card is um, uncertain times or fearing the uncertainty of getting out of some kind of work situation that you've been in for a long time, and you're having like a fear of like learning something new you think it's going to be hard but I feel like it's going to be worth it for some of you and the moon card is about fear it and do it anyways everything you want dream of and desire is in a territory you've never been in it means something you've never experienced before and it's new right Surrender to the wisdom of your body. Listen to your body's message about a person or situation. If you feel physically drained or uncomfortable, be cautious. If you are energized and happy, move forward. Again, pros and cons. Surrender to complete healing. Right here, working on it. So a needing for working on yourself, self-development, or just your own way that you want to work. Open fully to loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support you physically, emotionally, and spiritually healing. Yeah, cut your losses, lose the battle, and at the end of the day, you will win the war. Or there will be some kind of like heavy investment. Or somebody is finding... A situation being very one-sided. 
Surrender low self-esteem. You deserve success, love, and abundance. Set an intention to identify and release any remnants of low self-esteem. And that re requires for more working on yourself. So um, something about like anxiety, depression, uh, mental health here. And maybe you're recognizing that. Well, why am I always exploding at another person when things don't go my way? And that's just the ego, like trying to control a dynamic or to control a situation. It's just a deep-rooted fear or an old insecurity or some kind of pattern that you keep using. Or this could be another person around you. So again, move away from what's draining you and move towards of what's healing and fun and um, good for you. Get the F outside, move your arse. Your body is pissed at you. So a needing for you to um, not shelter yourself or to be at home. And if you are at home, get out in nature, call up a friend, play with one of your friends here. Shame, regret, and guilt, those are just bullshish. Forgive, let go of that shish. Yeah. And here, this could be something to do with like, well, this person did this to me. It's so easy to point fingers and be like, that person, you know, made me yell at them. Well, no, they didn't. Um, You know, it is about... Uh, your own thoughts, your behavior, and your attitude towards yourself. And you're like, you know, this person lied to me. I know, but maybe you stayed in a situation that wasn't good for you, right? Deceptive behavior of like, oh, I can make this work. I can totally make this work. I'm going to try to make this work. F fear. It will lie to your face. Yeah. So not taking action and procrastinating because you're afraid that somebody might hurt you. And here there could be like a heavy one-sided investment or for some of you, this could be like a heavy networking investment or a heavy commitment, like a solid foundation. You are going through some tough shish. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your tired arse up and handle it. Yeah, don't procrastinate. Like life waits for nobody. But we are in a Mercury retrograde, so there could be like a need for you to communicate. But coming from a place of a five of swords is not the best communication because your emotions are extremely high. Um, and somebody could be also very triggered. You don't have to react if somebody is very triggered. Just stay in your beautiful energy there. You also have three threes. Um could be like third party interference or too many cooks in the kitchen at work, too many opposed opinions, people not getting along at work. Well, you have free will and choice to move away from that collaboration um, and get a bit different job, right? Haystack, karma, you will reap what you have sown. Mice, discord amongst friends and family. So there, there's that. And staff. You'll be taken care of in difficult times. And then here, Taurus, pay attention here. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Yes, if somebody reacts or is being a bully and coming from a place of um, really high reactive emotions, you do not have to involve yourself or stoop to this person's energy. That's who they are, not who you are. And if you engage, then you are at the same level as this person. But rising above the situation, it's like you have good news to share or there's just something about like good karma going in your favor. But when you do not lower your standards and I feel like there's discord amongst friends and family. Um, who are your foes and who are your bros is what I'm getting. And temptation, temptation will test you. Somebody could be baiting or hooking you into some kind of fantasy or an illusion. Um, they want power and control. They want to control the environment. And you're like weighing up your options. Like, do I leave this or do I smoke my tires? Like, get in my boat. 
It says woman. Dealings or relationship with a woman. Could be your boss. Could be your friend. Could be your mother. Because um, Cancerian energy is mother. And bridge. Successfully overcoming a problem. Yeah. Bear. Danger. Especially in money matters. Dagger, fear, worry, fear, worries, intense situation. Yeah, somebody could be like super intense or there's something about like gaslighting or manipulative in words that they use and it's keeping you confused if this person is actually a friend to you or real. And then Mountain Road, you are on the road to success. Moon, changes in your life. It's in your blocked and challenged position. You haven't wanted to change this or change a situation because it's scary. But everything you want, dream of, and desire is in the unfamiliar. And Taurus, close mouths don't get fed. So people don't know that you need a hand because you're not vocalizing it. Instead, you're reacting coming from a place of, of shame, blame, hurt, and your emotions are coming across as like, oh, we got to stay away from that Taurus. Like, um, do you know what I mean? And I, I've done this in the past where, you know, I emotionally react um, because it's like very triggering to me, but your triggers are your responsibility. And, you know, this fear and worries, intense situation, somebody could be like super duper intense, but also very emotionally imbalanced. Like somebody is not regulating their emotions very well here. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know how this resonates with you. Like, share, subscribe. And Taurus, if you want to book a private reading with me, you can do so in the description box below. Click the link and it will take you to the website and you can see the options there. Take care, my friends. Bye-bye.